All right. Say, ah. Uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Captain? We love your accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh, no. We orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. Yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Brace yourself. Hey, so, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. <laughs> it's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkling, prepare to meet your match in the game of Pirate Draft. I've asked! I've got you now! Ha-ha! <laughs> mm. <laughs> huh? Ah, no, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the Gup E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. <gasps> Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder and we're drifting pretty quickly. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh, it's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry, we just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radar contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them. 
But all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. <sighs> hey, what was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look. Quasi! I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We Orcas will help you find them. Huh? Oh no! The ice is breaking in two! Peso! Jump! Yeah. <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again. Whoa. <laughs> oh! Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes! <laughs> gotcha! Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. <laughs> well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. You did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping! I think I see something. It's Barnacles and Peso. We found them. What's happening? Quasi, you found us. I knew you would. Aye, thanks to our Orca pals here. But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! Yeah, you orcas can do everything. Now we can get the gups home. I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Hi, orcas and octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. I can't 
believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Ooh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch, with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, worthy octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? <laughs> getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. Now. Care now. Bye. 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 Goodbye. What's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No walls, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice, and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. 
Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Yes, that did it. There it is. Ah, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Twig will need the Gup D. All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. Drill stuck. That ice is just too thick. I'd better pull out as soon as everything stops spinning. stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. Wales. Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashy. How much longer? <laughs> Look! <laughs> my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partner! Yip, 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 yip. Bye. 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 
I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso. Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved the coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! Octonauts, let's do this! If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh, spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Yappity flippers. Cool. 
You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Hmm, <laughs> 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 there. <laughs> oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Uh, oh! Whoa! Um, easy now! I just want to, um... See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece. Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one. Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go. Ready, everybody? Ready. Ready. Ah, ready. ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. And I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. Ah, you're on, matey. Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. Ah, that's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There, we're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, 
this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Vampire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of. Oh, that's strange. What? Who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <laughs> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Sp Spider! No! <laughs> You're not going to believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was... it was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the gut bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! This is the spider! Hello out there. 
We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gum? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull, and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is a picture of me grandfather, Calico Jack. It's because of him that I chose the pirate line. Wow. 
He looks very cool and very piratey with that parrot on his shoulder. That was his parrot sidekick, Pete. Calico Jack and Pete were devoted to each other, as parrot and pirate are meant to be. What else do you know about him? Well, matey, there is a song about him. A song? Can you sing it? Hi, I can sing it. Most of it, anyway. <coughs> he hunted for treasure. He scratched for fleas. The bravest cat on the seven seas. Once he got going, he never turned back. And that's the truth about Calico Jack. He always had courage. He couldn't be beat. Arr! Arr? That's as much as I know. I've never been able to find out what the last line of the song is. You'll find out someday. I know it. I hope you're right, Peso. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, the frame's broken, but at least the picture's all right. What's that on the other side? Shiver me whiskers. there would be a map hidden on the back of this picture. I reckon it'd be a treasure map. Pirates always hide their treasure maps. Aye, matey. I'm certain this map will lead us to the treasure of Parrot Island! <laughs> me grandfather, Calico Jack, must have wanted me to find this map, Captain. Look, X marks the treasure of Parrot Island. And I'm gonna find it. But how do we find it? Hmm. We're looking for a parrot-shaped island. With a volcano on one side. And a little island with a palm tree on the other. Dashy? I'm already on it, Captain. I'm matching it to the maps on our computer. That's not it. No, not quite. Nope, that's definitely not it. No, that's, uh... What? Ah, oh, she blows! Yeah, tis not far from here. Then let's explore the island and find the treasure. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find the treasure of Parrot Island and explore the... Let's go, Captain! All right, Peso, into the guppe with Quasi. Yes, Captain. According to the map, we should be coming up on some kind of green blob. I wonder what it could be. Algae, and lots of it. Yeah! Hmm, it's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Ah, yeah, I am a pirate. I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. A parrotfish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Oh, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather. So you've heard of him? Aye, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick. Quasi and his trusty sidekick, Pete the Parrotfish. Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrotfish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. And parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! Ah, 
this reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah! Oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish. But we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah! The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. <gasps> oh no! The eels can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. We're safe now. Phew. Pete, we never would have made it without your protective bubbles. Ah, it was nothing. Parrotfish Pete, any pirate will be proud to call you his sidekick. Ah, thanks, Quasi. According to the map, Parrot Island should be right around here. Let's swim to the surface and look for it. Look, there's the volcano. And there's the little island with the palm tree. Yeah, but there's no Parrot Island anywhere. Maybe me grandfather's map was wrong. Avast! Down here, mateys! Huh? Yow! Look at that! Wow! It's an underwater island. Aye, and Parrot Island is actually Parrot Fish Island. And there's me grandfather's treasure! Huh? What's this key for? Oh, look, a keyhole. I'll try it, matey. He hunted for treasure, he scratched for fleas. The bravest cat on the seven seas. Once he got going, he never turned back. And that's the truth about Calico Jack. He always had courage, he couldn't be beat. When he set sail with his parent peas. Quasi, you found it. The last line of the song. Ha <laughs> ha me hearty. Now that's a treasure for sure. How can I ever thank you, Pete? Ah, oh, don't mention it. So, what do you say? You want to keep being me parrotfish sidekick? Ah, oh, well, it's been exciting being a sidekick. But now that we've found Parrotfish Island, I think I'd like to stay here with the other parrotfish. All right, me hearty. I understand. But how about your very own song to remember your pirate days by? A song about me? You don't have to worry when you get in trouble Cos Pete will protect you with his special bubble As brave friends go, he can't be beat And that's the story of Parrotfish Pete! We have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashie. And who knows what else we might find today? 
Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Monsters. Monsters! Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And make sure your gup cams are turned off. <gasps> I just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide no fin of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. Quasi. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Happened. He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octa hatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The cry 
Doc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir, stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashy, activate steering wheel. <laughs> doing peso he seems fine let me get a bit closer <laughs> he just tried to chomp me don't worry peso saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot it helps them cool off <laughs> oh uh, he may start crashing about as well now you tell me If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Thick warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah. I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. Whew. That sun sure is getting hot. <laughs> Sorry about that, tell you. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you, but uh, you know I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. <laughs> Fascinating. Sea stars and snails and red rock crabs. Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. 
I'm an Stay back! <gasps> oh. oh, impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realise they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chokes! I'm here to help. You'll never catch us! Hey. Yeah. Through his legs, Chokes! <laughs> just can't stand this place. It's cold, there's nothing to eat, and now some big furry thing's chasing after us! Captain! Come in, Captain! Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. We've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here. But we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the garbs? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up. It's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> nice and easy. <sighs> Hello. I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. I, I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! I'll get my brother onto you. I get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye, yes, Captain. We'll round them up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Super. Octonauts, let's do this. Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. Octonauts. <laughs> Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Iggy, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell them, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here onto this 
little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. Ah, I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. And <laughs> so! Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, they're kind of tickles. All right, everyone. Now that they're distracted... <gasps> it's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! <laughs> They'll see. Well, what are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. If only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Mm. You know what, Peso? I think I might be able to make us some. Tweak, these are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them climbing claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. Doing to my friends. Don't worry. We just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hitch your ride? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, <laughs> two! Oh, oh dear! Ah, <laughs> Help! Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring them in. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. We was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks. Octomort to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody, we're home. And just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me too. Come on. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? Oh no, 
what happened to you? The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso, and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. What's going on here? <gasps> that does sound strange. We'll need to take an x-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. co -watalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you? No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. oh. Where are we, anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, oh, I say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. They're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. A room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No. There's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponge your scope, please. <laughs> All right. This shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> ...tickle. Having a look in... no? See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh, no! No way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Astronauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Both the sponge and the louse are feeling worse and worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, there be plenty of whales swimming in these waters. We'll find the nearest one and give the little castaway a home to call his own. Oh, it's not that simple, Quasi. Different kinds of whale lice live on different kinds of whale. We have to work out which whale species this louse came from. I'm running a scan now. Oh, there. Looks like this louse came from a sperm whale. There's no time to lose. Octonauts, let's do this. Don't worry. We'll have 
this louse out of you in no time, just as soon as we find him a sperm whale. There's something big coming up. A vast! It's a whale! Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm, keep looking, everyone. There! Nope, that's a humpback whale. I knew that. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint? How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another well now. Uh, I can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's, uh, it's, uh, a sperm wheel. Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you stay away from my baby. Oh, the whale's mother. Sperm whales will do anything to protect their young. Hang on, everyone. The mother whale's not giving up. Peso, Quasi, I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? Hey, Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Just tell me what you need, Katie. Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <laughs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little, a little to the left. Steady. Oh, too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. And... Gotcha! Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey! Hey! I'm warm! How do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a whale, I feel great! Thanks, Doc! And what about you? I feel great! Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso. This is fascinating. Another example of commensalism. The louse gets a home and the whale doesn't mind at all. But she does mind us being this close to her baby. We need to get out of here. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready, matey. Clear. Yeah. Gotcha! must have brushed against the reef here. Aye, the louse must have fallen off when the whale knocked the sponge loose. Well, now they're both back where they belong, healthy and happy and... Excuse me! Got room for a few more in there? Of course. As long as you're not a whale louse, I don't mind at all. Come on, fellas. In we go. It's <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly one. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 